Hello and welcome to another painting video. Today we're going to be painting a catacomb command barge uh, minus the overlord that's on top because we already painted overlord on this channel so you don't need to see that. Um, this one's going to be a little different than normal just because there's so many colors and different. Ah, we'll just get into it whatever. So we're going to start with this medium sea gray which is our color scheme stuff. So we'll put some down just for some dry brush, some hot dry brush action. Let me make sure I'm recording really quick because sometimes I'm not. Okay, I am. Great. Um, so we're gonna get our dry brush, maybe a bigger dry brush. We're gonna get a big old brush, a big old flat brush right here, giant. I'm gonna put the gray paint in it. And we're gonna dry brush a lot of like the structure of this. I should have a glove on, but I don't. So we're just gonna dry brush a lot of this structure here. This back part, it's a lot. Just try to be light with the brush. Uh, there's a drawback to using such a big brush and this is to get our kind of green on here that we've been using so just get all those like edges and nooks and crannies here come the crannies let's get that spine thing in there, get this piece here, along with the front of the barge here. Get some more paint on here. Just be kind of careful with it. Trying to mainly just get the, the frame structure here. We can get the gun too, because it's like our dry brush for our, our guns as well. So let's just get that. And it's this whole like outer frame thing that kind of holds everything. This cradle, if you want to call it that. Let's just get that nice and, oh, and these panels look like they're going to be needing that treatment as well. Hey babe, yeah. can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you go downstairs and get me a, a rubber glove? Please. We need more paint. This is one of them. They're in that, um, in the, the the room, the miscellaneous room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're in that little the top drawer of that thingy, the white, the small white thingy. Okay. Thank you. Because yeah, I'm feeling my fingers stick to this, and I do not want that. And they can we can get these little? Oh, it looks like these little cradle thingies also will be getting that treatment as well. So let's just get in there, get those seats. Okay. Let's get some good grays on there. Okay, so that's good. Now we do the same thing with our sick green color. Can I be your lovely assistant making a cameo in your video? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Hello, internet. Hello, two people that watch my videos. Hello. Oh, no. This is. No, no, no. Our kitty. <laughs> no. <laughs> he is a bad boy. 
And allegedly, we love him. Uh, I am wife. I'm. I know he talks That's about me all the time you. in the videos. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Goodbye. Come on, kitty boy. That was kitty face reveal. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> So I have this here so I can kind of set them in there. Just while I we have a different solution for the base. Um, it's gonna be like nails on a 50 millimeter base instead of these clear plastic guys. But okay, so now we're gonna go over those grays again, but we're gonna whoops. Take way too much green. You need it a lot more wiped off. Let me get a bit rougher. Okay. That should be better. And just kind of give it a green dry brush to all those areas. And here. Top of that, get these guys. So now that I have these gloves on, it won't be peeling paint with hand oils. It's just natural. Okay, flip it over. Get these under bits. Avoid the gun, because our guns don't have that green glow. But if you hit it, it's not the end of the world. I mean, if you're doing our paint style, I mean, whatever. If you're not, go for whatever you want to do. So you can see that green tint now taking over the kind of edge of that stuff just kind of bringing it out a little bit more Necron-y. So a cheap, easy, quick, fast way to get that Necron effect that we want. Okay, so that's that part. Let me clean that brush off. Let's uh, switch to a lot better. I have that weird smell again. Maybe it's what I'm painting with or something. I don't know. It's just acrylic paints. It shouldn't be bad, but who's to say? There's a lot of lights. Maybe it's just that. Okay, so now we're going to get our gunmetal color. And that's going to go on a few parts on the ship as well as the the pilots on the ship. So we'll get this our little thicker dry brush here because this is a pretty big area that we're working with and then we can just kind of heavy dry brush our metallics on. It's not really even dry brush it's just lightly painting over it with our brush. And then the same thing here, we can get these guys. We can get their chest under their arms, their legs. like that and then that little spine column get that guy and then just looking at the box art as I'm doing this to kind of see where they blocked their colors we 
can paint the inside of this, which is fine because then we'll get over it later. And then get the other side here in the top. Sorry if it's kind of just a big model in the way. Kind of div, div, what's it called deciding if I want to put like the Doomsday Arc in here and stuff too, just because it's a big model. I I can lift the camera up more, um, so that's not a big deal. Just wondering like if it's I've painted one vehicle, I kind of painted all of them. Except the monolith, but that thing's big, so that's gonna actually be really hard to put with my setup, so kinda just have to play it by ear. Cause yeah, I'm not gonna not I'm not gonna play Necrons and not use a monolith. They're too cool. Let me see if you can get their backs. Can kinda get them. Okay. And then we rotate, and then we do the same thing here. We just want to get that covered. Then we want to let me look at this box art a little bit. See if they have like a different view of it. Oh, that's good. That's what we want. That's the view we want. Okay, so here we're gonna get the backs and undersides here. Just try to get there, and while we're there, we can get the back and undersides of these pilots in there. And it's okay if we don't get it 100% covered because it is like that weathered kind of look. That if we miss spots, it's it's fine gonna look like like it should so don't worry about it okay so we got that now let's go to kind of this back piece here it looks like maybe these engines or whatever these are we'll probably leave the green inside or when I spray it I might spray some green glowy in there. It might be worth it. Let me get some more gunmetal paint. And always remember, you don't have to paint it if you don't see it. Because this is on a base, you don't have to paint the underside if you don't want to. You don't have to paint anything you don't want to. But... Just make it look cool, man. Make it look cool. Sorry, let it make it look cool to you. Because what you you may think looks cool, other people may not, and that's fine. It's their deal, bro. Okay, there's that. And then looks like probably this as well is painted. that kind of royally throne look. Just rotate here. Getting in here is going to be a little difficult, so we're just going to have to bear with me for a second while I paint this. Rotate. 
to here. Okay, there's that little back piece. And then for the gun, we want these little, those little like coils in there, as well as the head of the gun. Cause it's kind of just how we, probably the casing maybe. Just the front casing, we'll just do the front of the casing. Let me get those guys there. Let me just do some like little light dry brush there. Make sure we're getting the front of the barrel. You don't want it to just not, you don't want to miss that part because <laughs> it'll look weird if you have all the whole sides painted and you just miss the section or whatever. So there's that. Let's get the coils there. The coils there. Get those ones. Can probably get those ones. Get those ones. Those ones. And that's the gun. Let's see if there's anything else that we want to get that look on. I'm gonna say no. Okay, so that's, why do I keep doing that? I can just set it back in here. Okay. Now we can get our silver paint and just do like a ghetto um, highlight over some areas or just a dry brush. You can just do a dry brush or an edge highlight if you're fancy or not at all if you don't want to. I was kind of leaning toward not doing it, but we're here and we're just gonna do it on the front. So just like on some of these like sharper edges, we're gonna do it along the top here probably is a good spot for it. Just to Same thing here, just get a couple of those edges, get like those edges, some of these little, little arms here, like the tops of their hands. Just fine, and get up here. Okay. So that's the dry brushing. I wonder if it's the water that smells. It's just paint water that's been sitting there for a while, so that could be it. All right, let's get some of our medium sea gray again. Now we gotta kinda slap chop up our, our Necron pilots and stuff like that. So we're just gonna get those really quick with a quick coat of gray on their shoulder pads just to prep them for our contrast paint. And then their faces as well. Get it back here as well. You don't want to leave it just black. Okay, so that's that. Now we get our white paint and do the same thing, matte white. Mm 
you want to make sure all your gray is out of the brush before you put the white on it because you're just going to make it and then we just do like a kind of oops you can see that's way too much right but it's okay just do like a little little dry brush of it on top and then do the same for the fronts of their faces We can take our red, which I was like, is there anywhere else on the barge that we wanted to put it? Thinking about it, like this is kind of like maybe where we would want it, but I like how the green is showing right now. So maybe not. We don't have as much red on our vehicles. Like our, mm, maybe like this panel here would be a good use for it. Let's, uh, let's prep a panel. Let's like, this one. Let's just do like this little top panel here. Cause it is like the command barges are like warlord of our army, so we can we can do that there. And it is kind of like the shoulder pad of the ship, if you want to <laughs> call it that. So you know it'll work. So we got our gray on. Now let's get the white. Do the same thing. just it is a flat surface so it's not gonna dry brush too great because there's not a lot of surface there but it'll work okay let's get our blood angels red contrast paint now and we're going to be putting that on the shoulder pads of our pilots. I'm just being really light with the brush here because this brush is, you can see it's kind of ratty, but I'm not digging into the model with it. I'm just kind of lightly grazing it. All right, cool. And then we can do the same thing up here. And we can clean it up with the edge highlights too. So don't worry too much about how it looks right now. Turn it around. Just get the undersides here. Like that. There we go. So now we can do some washes. Oh no, we need to do our bronze, our brassy brass color. And that's for like the iconography and some of the little bits here and there. So let's grab that. Let's grab our smaller brush. Just because these are some smaller areas that we're gonna be working with here. So our symbols here are always gold or bronze in this case. So again, it's just light touch with the brush, not digging into the model. And it looks like the outside of the casing here, we're gonna be doing with this paint too. So just you can see how shaky my hands are, but when you support them with your other hand, just like touching your your hand here 
helps a lot with the steadiness of the brush for me anyway okay let's do that and then let's do let me see let's think let's think through this do any of these need it no I'm just looking at our reference oh here we go it's the we don't need the small brush for that though but we'll get their little icons on their chests. I don't know if you can see that in there. And some of their gut wires. This is what I'm calling them. <laughs> um, oh, and we got any type of corrugated hose is going to be bronze for us. You just got to pick out those kind of things like there's a lot of design carry over in these things so you just got to find out what those are right like corrugated hoses okay we know what color to paint those they're going to be this color um so that way you just kind of stay consistent throughout your army that everything's made out of the same materials and kind of stuff like that you know well, there's some more underneath the seats that we want to get here And our flat hoses are gonna usually be green or black, so we can kind of ignore some of those for now. Okay, and then we can probably just add a little bit of color to the pilots here too, just because they're putting in hard work for the for the crons. Okay, and then let's get a different brush here. It's a little bigger one. And then we're gonna paint this front kind of thin structure. With this is This is our leader. This is our our big boy. He wants to kind of show off to his army that he's fancy and that he's in charge. I'm sure, that's the kind of um, language that the the Necrons use too. Like, I'm fancy. I'm in charge. Sorry if this gets out of the frame for a second I just gotta get it's kind of in an awkward spot on the model so it's gotta kind of poke poke in there and get that stuff to be colored Flip it. So sorry for this boring section of the painting. Maybe the whole thing's been boring. I don't know. But we're here, you know, if you're finding it boring, you know, leave a comment. Say it's boring and then tell me why. Well, you know, I'd love love to know what you guys think, like good or bad. I mean obviously don't be a total jerk about it but if that's what if that's how you, if that's how you communicate you know that's how you communicate but maybe work on that but you're not going to work on it in this time limit that it's going to take you to post something so okay there's that and then we got some plates right here in the back. So I'm just gonna try to carefully line those. And then we're just gonna kind of lightly swipe over the top of this stuff. Try to get it all.
Okay. And is there any other seconds that we missed? I think I missed the bottom here. And then they say gold on their heads, but gold on their heads is only from my leaders, so we're not doing that. Um, so I think we're ready for wash. So Agrax Earthshade, I'm going to put that all over the metallics. So let's get a brush and then just kind of start on the bottom just because we don't need to spend too much time here. But we gotta get these guys really good underneath here because that's where we can see them the best. These hoses. And then this, the thing we just painted, little front piece, you can get inside here, the little coils. the front of the gun. Let's tilt this over, get our hands kind of clean because we don't want to mess it up too bad here. Just get the gun. Okay, and then get that. Sorry, get in the front of the boat. I keep calling it a boat, <laughs> the, the command barge. Um, get this, this guy, this whole thing, just get in there, in there, these guys' hands and stuff, we can put this on a base, oh, it's a base here. So then we can touch here. Just get some spots that maybe we missed a little bit of just to cover it up with gunk. side of it. And we got like we got this tower guy. Just get the engines. Use my hand for a second while I just grab onto this while it's being stable. Just giving this a little dirty brush of Agrax. Because it's been buried for millennia or whatever. <laughs> okay. 
So while that's just drying in this super dry house, we'll get our scarlet paint and do our kind of edge highlights on the reds. Do our little brush for that. We kind of glob it on the brush, but we do not glob it on them. We just go over the areas where the high points are. Give that to this is that. I'm trying to touch not where the washes right now when I'm rotating the model I'm just touching the front here now if you were a better painter you would probably like dry not dry much like blend those colors in there to make it a more even color but as we have established on this channel over the couple years then I'm not a great painter I just do okay so we're just doing those little edges right there and now what we can do is we can get our white and then just start blocking out areas that are going to be airbrushed Get that and then we'll kind of take some areas here like this guy is going to be airbrushed it's like a big orb on the floor uh, all of these buttons you know it's gonna be a little rough but we'll get it in there just the ones that we can see flat are going to have the white on them though because the ones that their hands are covering it's going to be too hard for me to get white under there and then the front here front of that guy we can hold here right now just try our best. So we're gonna get this. It doesn't have to be like full painted because the airbrush does bleed. I'm gonna get the gun as I'm shaking. It doesn't have to be perfect. Get this little guy there uh, for our necrons right here we've got the insides of their chest which I paint green on my guys and then that thing there we're going to rotate again. It's going to be like this. And then we're going to get this one here. And then we're going to get all of these. And then 
this. There is an orb in here that we can try to spray. Give it a shot. Who knows how that'll turn out? <laughs> and then we'll get the other Necron warrior or pilot. We'll get his chest as well. So let's kind of hold it. And also their backs have little thingies in them. So we'll get there too. We're trying our best here. And it's okay if it's bleeding out, it's fine. And I think that's all the glowy glows. The technical term for it. So that's all our white down. Oh wait, did I get the front there? I did, okay, cool. Let me just get it a little bit better, okay. And then now we can get our Escorpina green and then get the hoses, any hoses that might be on here. I know there's a couple before we go into full on spray and paint mode. So let's see. None on the front here. Let's grab this area again here. And then we got these hoses right here. These are the ones we want. That's the only hose hose. Well, it's not true. I am shaking so much. Go in there. Okay, there's another hose kind of here and kind of here. Look at that. I wonder if this is like a type of injector or something like. That get that puts the the steering fluid into them. But we'll just paint it instead of spraying it. Here we go. Okay, and I think we're ready for airbrush. So you know the drill. We gotta put this away. Get out our protective layer. AKA ton of paper towels, paper towel shield, oops. And then we get our stuff. Here's a thing that I've already used, so I'll just use it again. Oh, it's a bubble. Just a little bit, we don't need a ton. Some of our thinner in there, just a little bit. We don't put a ton in there because this paint's already pretty runny as it is. And then we get a crappy brush. Give it a stir and don't spill it everywhere. The swass. 
give it a test spray. We're good. And then let's go to town. So we're gonna start in this spot right here. Just kind of give that some glow. Same there. Same there. Those buttons fit his ribs. Something here, get those ribs. Get the little eye up here. Get his buttons. We can spray under here too to get that button. Okay, is that all the. Oh, no, we gotta get. That guy, go underneath here. Get the gun here. And then we gotta flip it around. Oh my hand, so shaky. Let's give it a spin here, so I can turn it easier, I guess. And then, actually, I'll have to grab it like this. Pardon my hand for a second. Get those guys. Get this. Oh, and then there's this. You might not be able to see in there, but there's a little orb in there that we just gotta get. And then we're gonna do these little back engines here. Let's see here. Okay. And then we gotta get the fronts of these Necrons. So you can grab here. Sorry. So a little bit of a mess right here. We're gonna get their rib cages here. as well as his eye and then his little aimer thingy cool so that is how you paint how we paint our we can just flood that out more that's how we paint our Catacomb Command Barge. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.